What's up YouTube, Tenchi Arizona of the Jackalope crew here and as you can see on the table today we have my tops tie bow and two sets of handle scales. Now I'll get into those in a minute but just bear in mind today's video is not about the knife itself, it is about the handle scales. All about the handle scales in fact. Now as you can see I have a black and white set and a black and yellow set. The black and yellow set will come into focus a bit later in this video. Now, both these sets of handle scales came from Denny over at Carry Customs. And Denny specialises in micarta handle scales and leather sheets. He's a very good craftsman, as you can see by the work in front of you. And honestly, I am astounded with the quality of these scales to be quite frank. Now the black and white set which the knife is currently wearing, thanks to uh, one of my subscribers, Mr Jeremiah Price, got the nickname of Speed Racer, so that's the Speed Racer scale set. Now I will zoom in here so you can actually see the scales properly, I may need to adjust the focus, I might not, and as it appears I do not need to adjust the focus, which is absolutely brilliant, but as you can see the black and white scales have indeed been treaded and the tread pattern is what Denny calls the wave tread I believe Denny if you see this and I'm mistaken just correct me in the comments below it's no big deal but this is the set that my knife is currently wearing as they are a slightly thicker scale than the black and yellows that's not the reason that the knife is currently wearing them though. The, knife, the reason the knife is currently wearing them is because these scales here are part of a project that I'm missing a piece for, so those will have to wait. Now, back to these uh, black and white speed racer scales. They aren't just black and white, contrary to what you may see on screen, because if I tilt the knife up, you will see that they have marvellous red liners. Now, for me that is amazing because I love red. There's a lot of things I have that have red in them to be quite honest. And it's one of my main go-to colour schemes. Black, black and red, that is not black, white and red. Now normally I wouldn't have got a black and white handle scale, but these ones really caught my eye. I didn't notice the uh, red in the initial pictures that Denny sent me of them, so that was a pleasant little surprise once I saw them fitted and saw them in real life. So, yeah, that's the black and white speed racer scales. As I said, they are a little bit thicker than the yellows due to the liner. Very comfortable. They have got a little cut out in them to keep the pommel of the tie bow exposed, which I like. And both, both sets of scales have that cut out, so yeah. Now as I said, I am going to talk about the black and yellow ones, which you can just about make out in the screen, which are right there. So, let me uh, move this out of the way and bring these into place. Now, these black and yellow scales, or as I call them, the yellow jackets, for obvious reasons, oh, sorry about that, I knocked my tripod. I am working in relatively tight quarters here, so please bear with me. Now, as you can see, they have a good contrast between the black and the yellow. They looked kind of bland when I saw them because they hadn't been treaded at that point. But seeing them treaded now, I'm glad I chose these as well as these. Uh, excuse me, because of the manual focus again. So, I'm actually glad that I chose both sets. Now, these scales, the yellow jackets, are actually part of a project which I am making, but I'm, as you know, I'm missing the last part, which is the sheath. The sheath will be made to colour match the scales. 
haven't chosen who's going to make the sheaf yet, or worked out how much the sheaf is going to cost to make yet, but we'll get to that at some point down the road. Most importantly at the moment, these are my favourite of my two sets of scales, for obvious reasons. They just really, really pop. Now bear in mind I have got a halogen lamp on here at providing the light for this video because otherwise these scales do not pop as much because I'm using a low energy bulb where I'm doing my recordings. In, nat in natural daylight they do pop really really well and although they are thin they are just as comfortable as the black and white speed racer scales. Again, why did I choose uh, the name Yellow Jacket? Well, if anyone's ever been stung by a wasp, they will know that a knife like this, Tebow, kind of fits the name. It's small, but it has a mighty sting to it. And trust me, I've already had a slight mishap with it when I wasn't watching what I was doing when I was putting it back in the sheath and I missed the sheath and stuck myself with a tip. So yeah, be careful when you're sheathing this knife. It's small, but it's got a bloody good edge on it, as expected from tops. So, I'll just put this back in the sheath so I don't stick myself with it. And there it is, in the sheath. Obviously the sheath has a bead chain, as the Tybo is designed as a neck knife. I'll just zoom out again. And yes, as I said, these scales are not going on the knife yet. I have done pictures of them on the knife. I'll put a picture here so you can actually see what the yellow jacket scales look like on the knife. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Again, thank you to Denny over at Carry Customs for setting me up with these scales. And thank you to Rob Ricks, the Angry Jackalope, for bringing Denny to my attention with his uh, Kamaloa project and his project which is currently being made which is the uh, Pele project. Pele being the Hawaiian god of fire and volcanoes. So that's pretty much all I've got to say about it. Sorry if I got a little rambly. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe and remember be good to each other.